What's up everybody? Got the 04 R1 out today. Looking very beautiful. So I'll give you a little, little ride along, I guess, a little initial impression. I'm I don't know if you guys watch my other videos. I have a 06 CBR 600 R. So I'm, I'm used to riding the 600. I took my buddy's um, 06 1000 R out um, not too long ago. So now I'm going to take this 04 R1 out. Kind of, you know, compare them. Or if you're interested in getting an 04 R1, I can give you a, my opinions about it and how it feels and everything. Everything, everything. Pretty cool. R1. Yeah. So this is what it looks like. Nice bike. My cousins. Here we go. We're going to go for a ride. Let's do this. Let's go for a ride. Go oh, cruiser. <laughs> Kick stands up. Everything's up. Let's do this. What are those? Uh, that's what my nephew said to me one day. I told his ass it cost more than his Jordans on. Alright, let's go. Gotta do this. Walmart. Walmart. Where the crazies gather. That's why I'm here. Oh yeah. This feels really nice. I'm telling you. This feels super smooth. Right off the bat. It feels light. It feels light. Like at a standstill. Like when you have it sitting in between your legs. It's, there's some weight to it. You can feel the weight. But once it's moving, it feels super light. It, compared to, especially compared to that Porky 1000 RR. That thing was Porky. That was... These leader bikes, these have, I love the power, I love the, it's nice, it's nice. Let's go this way, let's go this way, sorry, 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 Yeah, this feels awesome! I don't know, buddy, I, I've ridden with him a few times. He also got his bike on sale on Craigslist, actually. Craigslist! Shifting is super easy, it just feels super smooth. Seat, I like the seat, it's comfortable. Clutch feels good, you get two finger, one finger. Oh, that's what she said, she wanted a two finger. <laughs> okay, I totally ruined it. It's a really nice day to ride. It's kind of hot though, it's kind of muggy. Yeah. Definitely that torque all the way through the van. Super smooth. Yeah, it feels like a 600 with a lot of power. That's that's the only way I can explain it. This bike, that's what it feels like. It feels so nimble, and but it has all that power still. Like, it can go. I don't know what to say. I just, I guess it's just awesome. It feels really good. It really does. Like, every time I jump on a, a leader bike, it makes me want to grab one. The seat is super comfy. It feels like, I don't know, it's, it feels great. It feels super soft. Compared to my bike, oh my goodness, this bike is like, this seat is like, just jowl for your booty. So the people that say that leader bikes are useless, blah blah blah, they're not, they're fun to ride, they're just as fun. They, I mean, you, you may not, no one needs all that power, true, but it's good to have it. No one needs a Ferrari, no one needs a Lamborghini, but you still want it. Just like with that last situation I was in there, the guy was going super slow. There's a car coming up. I was in the left lane, the car was coming up on the right side, and I'm, I'm not even sure what gear I was in. I was probably in like fourth or fifth, but going about, I don't know, roundabouts, knee dragon, just kidding. Going about like 40, 50, and I just cranked the throttle and I just passed him like he was just driving super slow but so you don't need a power but it's good to have it have it there uh, and available whenever you do need it and I get it when people say people say um, it's good to learn on a 600 yeah well not even that they're 250 blah 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 250 I say you can learn on a 600 that's my opinion there's nothing wrong with learning on a 600. Just to give you that feel, that initial feel, because when you, you jump on a 600, if you've never ridden an, a leader bike and you jumped on a 600 and you crank that throttle, it's gonna seem fast as hell to you. It's gonna seem like, holy shit. 
that's fast. That's what it's gonna seem like. It's gonna freaking blow your mind. And you need to get used to that feeling, I guess. You need to, it's like just a feeling of the G's pushing you back, you know, the G-force. But if you take the, the whatever the class is, um, which I didn't, I, I went and took my permit test, I learned how to ride on this bike, <laughs> and actually it was a, a, an O2R one, the one, before my cousin got this one, he had a, an O2R one, and I used to learn, I used to ride that all the time, and that's, you know, how I really got accustomed to ride, I mean, um, we, we had like a, a 600, a, a Ninja 600 that the homies brought around, it was, I don't know what year it was, it was in the 90s somewhere, but we would ride that around, that's, that's it, I just learned how to get the bike going and, and, um, just, like, it, get it going, basically learn how to use a clutch and the brakes and everything, I never really got to take it on the highway or anything, I just took it around the block and all that, so, I can't really say that I learned how to ride like that, I mean, it's just basically, if you know how to drive a manual, a car, a stick, you should be able to ride a, a motorcycle, in theory, so, I mean, now I'm just ranting and just going off topic, but I don't really care, this is my time, I guess. <laughs> so, yeah, the Lula bike is what I learned how to ride on, and, you know, I chose a 600 because, I don't know, I just... I just like that model. I always loved that model, that that CBR. Ever since it first came out in 2003, I've wanted it. So when I had the opportunity in 2006, I jumped on it because I think that motherfucker looks beautiful, in my opinion. Like, bikes aren't, bikes, I don't know. They went through a period where they started looking super ugly, but, you know, they're starting to look better now, like the new R1. I love that bike. That's like the bike that I want, the R1M. I wish I could afford one of those. <laughs> but yeah, this bike is awesome. I, man, I think it's okay to start on a 600. It's okay to start on a 1000. You just don't do it because you want to be cool. Know your, you know, just, Know your skill level. Don't just, you know, get on a thousand because all your friends have a thousands. Me, I got the 600 because, yeah, like aesthetically I liked it and I wanted to become a better rider. I wanted to, you know, throw that bike around and hit the twisties, whatever little twisties that we have here. You know, so I, that's the reason why I got a 600. But if you're just cruising around, they're no fun. Those 600s are no fun to cruise around in town. This, the legal bikes are better for around town because at least you have that little end torque and it just look, it so feels so stable and it's a lot better. Yeah, this is definitely a lot lighter than that, um, the 2006. 2006, um, 1000 double R, CBR 1000 double R. Man, that thing felt porky, but it felt really stable. I mean, I, I give it, I, I get it. You know, they did that. That's what they were doing. I don't know how a bad bad guy was. Yeah. Leader bikes. I don't know. I think I might have to jump to a leader bike. I think I've learned what I could on that 600, and it's time to get rid of it. Maybe. I don't know. It's just so sexy, though. And it's so fun to ride. I love the, the 
um, high RPMs. I mean, it redlines at 15,000. This redlines at almost 14. It's so easy to ride this bike. It's so easy. Right, too bad I can't just crank the throttle and just go. I mean, the seat feels really good, but um, it is pretty aggressive. You are leaning forward a lot, pretty, like, you're up there. Yeah, but this is the material of the seat that's super squishy and feels good. I don't know if this is aftermarket or stock, I'm not sure. That'd be awesome if it was on um, stock. I like this bike. I love it. Feels really good. I don't know what to say, but inside it feels really good. And it's a good bike. And if you're looking to get an 04 R1, I it wouldn't be a bad buy at all. I'm serious. This is a nice bike. A very nice bike. Yeah, I'm kind of sad that I got a give it back it's a beautiful bike looks like a little hornet a blue hornet or something um, pretty new tires i like it looks badass it looks fun it's a fun bike um it's an 04 again 04 r1 um even with the chromes on it, it didn't feel heavy at all um i know that the cbr that i rode it, it had chromes on as well so um that made a that might have made it feel a little bit more parky but it, it this fact that that bike weighed more. This just feels so nimble. Feels like a 600 with more power. That's all I can really say. I mean, if you're looking to start on leader bikes, and these are they're pretty old, and you can get them for a pretty good price. Um, I don't think I don't see why you couldn't learn on it. And this is coming from someone that you know has a 600. So that's all I got to say. Um, you know, please subscribe. Please watch my other videos. Thumbs up, thumbs down, share. Um, you know, I'm, my videos aren't they aren't the best, but I'm trying. It's just something I like to do for fun. I'm not trying to be a millionaire off of it. I just like riding. I like sharing what I do, and I, I don't just share riding videos. I share everything. So you know, subscribe. That'd be greatly appreciated. All right, have a good one, guys. I'm a star.